thought we'd make a video on packing stained glass, some easy to follow steps to safely ship glass. Um, the best thing to do is to roughly make a box to fit your glass panel sizes. And if you have a lot, make more than one box. Make each box on an individual piece, including the skid on the bottom is individual, and then these are screwed to the skid. The best thing to do is measure the width of your panels and add extra for the foam and packing material. The first thing to do is always solid plywood and two, two inch dimensional lumber for uh, the outside. If you have only two panels, you can use a two by four. If you have a lot of panels, use a two by six, two by eight, two by 12, whatever you want. Then once your box is finished and it's mounted on the skid, put in your, uh, your foam, which is basically, you might as well go over the materials. You're gonna have foams, you could have styrofoam, pink stuff, or there's this type of foam. Uh, for these. They're usually for absorbing impact on the outside. And then there is your papers, which is, could be a corrugated cardboard, corrugated paper, or some sort of plastic foam, which will be in between your panels. Here's a close-up of the paper for in between the stained glass panels. It has a little bit of cushioning for in between. This, is the, this type, that type, or the plastic. All, all work fine. If you're dealing with different shapes, most of the time there's always a straight edge that you can face down so they're nice and secure in the boxes. But sometimes certain shapes don't allow for proper storage like that. For instance, this one. Let's take a nice thick piece of styrofoam like this. Take a heavy marker and uh, trace your panel and then cut your marked line out with a knife. After you mark out your panels, you cut out your styrofoam, place it in your crate, first a one inch thick piece of styrofoam as backing, then your cutout piece, which is held in place by screws with a washer, or in this case, a little piece of plywood which holds everything snug against this backing and holds everything in place for the panel to nice and safe sit in here. Now, before you bring the panel out, uh, you have to raise this part up. So when you place your panel in, it will fall in and cannot fall back out. If you don't do this, this is perfectly up and down, which is the proper way to transport glass. But uh, if you put something in now, it has a possibility of falling straight out while you're doing something else. So what we always do is when you're working on this box, we lift it up on this side and put a 2x4, 4x4, depending on how big the skid is, under here. And it will lean the box this way. When this box is finished and sealed off, then we can work on this box and only then. Then we put the 4x4 on this side, lift it this way, and put the panels in on this side. Okay, like I said, very important step. Uh, here's my 4x4. I tilt the box up, put the 4x4 underneath. And this is important for unboxing as well, because if you open up the box and all the panels fall towards you, that's not a good scene. So always, the side you're working on, put a 4x4 underneath, 
tilt it back, and now when you put the panel in, it will fall in and it cannot fall back out. Uh, since this piece of styrofoam is just on top of this styrofoam, just held down, I like to put a piece of paper in behind here, behind the first panel, so it sticks out just a little bit that the panel cannot fall in behind or in between these two uh, pieces of styrofoam. So I will grab the panel. Sure, it pushes nicely back against the back, against the paper, and now it's nicely supported the whole way and it won't bend and slide back and forth. Okay, now there's three panels in here and they are nice and snug the whole way around, sitting in the styrofoam, and paper in between everywhere. And the best way to keep them in this space now is to take another piece of styrofoam that's thinner than the original one, cut it to roughly the same shape. place it in here and now it is almost the same level so if you now fill this box with styrofoam up to this level here those panels cannot fall out of the little space that was made for them in a nice and snug in the center of this box all right, same thing, different box, same story. Um, this is two-dimensional lumber, and here instead of plywood, we have chipboard, but uh, same thing again. And if there's only one box on the skid, it could technically be open from both sides, but since it's being packed from this side, it should be labeled open from this side only, and it should only be open from that side and not the other side. And the side that you open is the side that you lift. So you lift it, you put your 4x4s underneath again, like this. Nice and solid. Then you put the styrofoam on the bottom, the whole way around, in the back, one inch thick. There. And on the ends, everywhere, styrofoam. And then from here on out, put your panels in, lean them to the back, and put your paper in between each panel. Okay, with the square panels, it's a little bit easier uh, than the odd shaped ones, but uh, it's basically the same. You tilt your boxes, on the 4x4 again, uh, line your box the whole way with uh, styrofoam, the whole way around, and then you grab your panel, always at the top third, if you're carrying it like this, and if you want to carry it flat, grab it here in the top third, here in the bottom third, lift straight up, and then turn it and carry it like this, or rest it against your shoulder like this. Go in here, flat against the styrofoam in the back, make sure everything is nice and flush, and this is 
nice in the middle. Then we add our paper. And as you can see here, there's copper wires on these panels, which will later serve to install your iron rods. So on this panel, they're facing this way, and on the next panel, they will face inward. So they're on top of each other, facing each other. So if this is not quite long enough, we can do two like this. It's a little bit trickier. I'll have to get my panel first. Grab your second panel, top third again, or if I want to flip it sideways, once here, once here. The top of the panel is always where the number is. The number is always in the top right hand corner. So you already know that when you're picking it up like this, you have it the right way. Turn it sideways, bring it over here. Actually, I have to turn it the other way because of the copper wires. Place it down, go on the other side of it. Now you can grab it here on the top where the lead is, bring it in. Make sure the bottom is right up against the next panel. And then put those in behind. tricky alone but with a person to help you it shouldn't be a problem. There. And then you keep going paper glass, paper glass the whole way along. Now that the copper wires are facing this way, the next one We'll go with the copper wires facing this way, so it's flat on flat. And that's it. Okay, this little box is now full too. There's eight panels in here, and between each panel is a piece of glass. And now there's just enough room here in the box for, I don't know, a few pieces of styrofoam. So to put pressure on everything and to keep everything tight together, this goes on, and this goes on, and now when you put pressure on this, it actually goes flush with this box, meaning that everything inside is pushed together and can't go anywhere. And then this is held in place by a piece of plywood on the outside, like this, and then the pressure keeps the foam and everything in place. Now when you're opening the box, you open like this, and you will notice sometimes the styrofoam will fall towards you, and a panel could also fall towards you. So always take care when taking this off. When you take it off too fast, this could fall. Just make sure that nothing is coming towards you. Take this out and your first panel is there. Okay, just to recap uh, for the unboxing. So your box arrives, this one gets open from this side, this one gets open from this side. Let's say you want to open this one, same as before. You tip it, lay in your 4x4, lay it back down. Then, if everything is secured, remove, remove all the screws the whole way around. And then, when you remove this, your glass should be in behind here, and it cannot fall at you because it's tilted back. And the best thing is to use this with a little spacer, a piece of wood, or styrofoam, or whatever. You place it on the wall, put the top from the box against the wall like this, and now you already have a spot where you can put your glass for, uh, for the unboxing.